Recapping day five of 75 hard. I'm tired. But I think my hair is more tired. guys so yesterday was day five and uh, it was a pretty crazy day leg workout at 4 30 in the morning meetings from 7 to 9 9 to 11 interviews at 11 12 1 2 then went to the closing on uh, selling my house and then picked up my daughter and came back home and then did my second workout which outside again with that 32 pound vest in the 90 something degree weather so uh, it was a rough one that's what she said uh, but got it in uh, this morning. I was I was really tired this morning um, But got a little bit of a later workout in. we worked out at 8 just got done doing uh, back and biceps and uh, Just like you know looking in the mirror I feel like I look completely different than I did five days ago, which is awesome to think what you can accomplish in five days no less what is possible at the end of these 75 staying true to every single factor of this challenge and uh, it's going to be remarkable so cannot wait to see it now more importantly i'm about to go upstairs take a shower take my daughter to paw patrol live that's right paw patrol live Hi guys, it's uh, Sunday morning. I don't know what time, nine o'clock, eight o'clock. Just got in a uh, full body workout. And you know, last night, Saturday night, I was having a date and I was like, man, I gotta get a workout in tomorrow morning before church, and before I head, head on the road, get on an airplane down to Florida. It's like, but I know I'm not gonna push myself as hard as I've been pushed with the trainer the last few days. So I text the trainer, I was like, can you come at seven o'clock tomorrow morning? He said for sure and uh, just killed me. But I think that's you know important, important key is that you just can't push yourself as hard as somebody else can push you, uh, whether in life or in the gym. And so by adding that level of accountability to what we did today, I mean, I'm completely drenched and got a hundred times better workout than I know without a doubt that I would have gotten without him. So I got that in, I'm gonna get down to Florida some point this afternoon, early evening, get the second workout in, stay on point. This is the seventh day, so the final day of the first week, and uh, looking to stay 100% uh, on point. And I'm already blown away. Like I've, I was looking at some before and afters last night from day one to day six, and I can already tell a huge difference in my body. But more importantly, my mind is in a completely different space. And that's probably what I'm most excited about. And uh, most excited to talk to you guys about here in the coming weeks. So um, hope everybody had a great first week of their challenge. And a lot of you have been starting this challenge with me. A lot of DMs, a lot of Facebook messages, text messages, and uh, just finish strong, stay in it. And I will make this thing happen.
What's up guys? So just wrapping up day eight of 75 hard. I'm sitting here in the, the hotel gym and it is not a good one. Uh, we just got 45 more minutes of cardio and did some core uh, work here on the floor. Um, you know, thoughts from today. So, so this evening uh, from about nine to 10, I laid in my hotel bed and I watched TV and I thought about how much I did not want to go work out the second 45 minute workout in. And, you know, it was my first time today that I had to just finally sit. <laughs> and, um, you know, you start feeling bad for yourself or you start feeling good about the things you've already done today. And you think, oh, I'll just put that off a little bit. And uh, now, as I got this workout done, I'm realizing how um, just absolutely ridiculous that is and how that hour now means an hour less of sleep that I'll get. And tomorrow morning, gotta be up early, meetings all day. That hour robbed me of capacity tomorrow. That hour robbed me of a higher level of performance that I would have had tomorrow with an extra hour of sleep. And so that's my thought for this evening. Um, I'm a little ticked off about it, uh, to be honest but I'm grateful for this challenge for making me aware of these things, um, showing those areas uh, inside me that, that I still need uh, to grow and will continue uh, to grow because the first step is being aware of it. Second step is to doing something about it. And uh, that's what I intend to do uh, from here on out. But we are uh, eight days strong on 75 hard, um, feel incredible. Uh, I'm already seeing just insane results um, in my body, in my mind, the way I feel. And uh, man, it's, it's, uh, this is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be amazing to see over these next, what, 68, 67 days. So I uh, look forward to that. I uh, appreciate you guys. And uh, man, really appreciate you following on this journey with me. The messages of support that I've gotten from you, so many that have joined on this uh, challenge with me. Um, it's inspiring uh, to see you guys. And so I appreciate you and uh, look forward to seeing your journeys as well. And as always, if you need anything, let me know what I can do to help.